Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus Germany. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rafael Guerrero starts with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Leon Goretzka plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And the centerpiece of the attack today, Thomas Müller. And so the match is underway. Ruben Dias, Bruno Fernandes, it's with Joao Cancelo, Portugal pushing forward with options available, well he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw in, and delivered by Bernardo Silva here, not quite the clearance they were hoping for, Bernardo Silva, on to Cancelo, Real chance, really good diving save. Musiala. Getting forward. And the cross not sufficiently well played in. Shot attempted, pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Rafael Leao, Guerrero, Joao Cancelo, Bruno Fernandes has it, nicely timed tackle, Müller, got attacking possibilities, Could cross it in here. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Silva. Back to Ronaldo. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final one to Sabre well here it is again he goes past his markers so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and there's certainly no doubt about the finish he really hits it with power and accuracy nothing the keeper can do about that now back underway and 1-0 it is let's see what happens next 
Ruben Díaz. It's with Joao Cancelo. And he read it well. And they deal with the threat this time. David Raum. And now back with the keeper. Goretzka. Gnabry with it. Well, visionary passing. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here's the replay. What a pass this is from Gnabry. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Goal. 2 0 now and back on the way. Germany, number eight, Leon Bernardo Silva. It's with Ruben Nevis. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Fernandes, a real opening now. Well, well, well. How many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And what about the finish? That requires so much technical ability to get that right. What a goal that is. Goal. And they get the ball rolling again. The tails are up as far as Portugal are concerned. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ruben Neves. The ball with Pepe. Return to Neves. Joao Cancelo. It's going to be a throw in for Portugal here. Ronaldo. And on to Felix. Bernardo Silva, it's got to be, flinging himself at it, the keeper. <laughs> Delivering it, well not cleared away completely. Bruno Fernandes and delivered into the box well they can keep possession now well as those stats tell us Germany have been second best in terms of possession but when they have had it they've looked so dangerous particularly when they press high up the field win the ball back in those areas and then counter attack quickly and the threat on the counter attack is very real here they come again Kimmich. Zane has it. Not quite the cross he was hoping for. And with that, the first half draws to a close.
So back in business here. The ball is moving again, and it's advantage Germany after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. And he's beaten him here. Fine work from Portugal to win back possession. Well, not very clever defending. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And Ronaldo wasn't going to miss this one. From that range, he was always going to score. What a well-constructed goal. Well, I imagine there were many who had counted them out. This has been quite the fight back. Raum. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Serge Gnabry. Luciala. Ball's gone. Ruben Neves. Plenty of support here. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting to keep his concentration to the maximum and he did well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change can he deliver it with accuracy well not the best clearance They look as though they want to make this move count. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Plattered away. Guerrero. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Not to be this time. Sané. Germany using width to good effect here. Good sir. On to Mina, and he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. So a personnel change then. Now well, a short corner here. And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. And deciding to go short with this one. Sané. Really vital interception here. Well, it's been such a good game so far. Chances and goals at both ends. And all played at a great tempo. It's certainly been a good watch. And perhaps another chance in the making for them here. Went in strongly, decisively. Teammates available. Can they forge ahead? Oh, a goal to give them the lead. And look at the celebrations. Just watch this again. Jao Felix passes inch perfect. And Ronaldo's shot is then hit with such power. He's a top-class player when he gets into those areas. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Goretzka. On to Zule. Kimmich. This is a looking position, you've got to say. Sané. 
And back with Kimmich. Sané. And he takes on the shot. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Well, they fancy a short one. Good, sir. Making sure it didn't get past him. Could be! That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Joao Felix. Leal. And on to Felix. Guerrero. And return to Joao Felix. This could finish it. In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Sané. And showing fine vision. Well, it nearly worked out. And a fine interception. Guerrero. And just five minutes remaining. Good use of advantage by the referee. Ronaldo. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. Oh, a splendid save. And it gives them some hope here. Not long left, though. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Bernardo Silva. Just the clearance that was called for. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Felix. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And now it's all over! We've witnessed history! Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time! Well, they've been kings of Europe, now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions! And this is finally Portugal's time, fully deserved, best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach, he's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.